I don't think people expect the Stanley Cup last year, the year before, even this mm-hmm. year. But for people to expect that, God forbid, they win a playoff series in the first round, I don't yeah. think that that's asking a lot. Yeah. And oh, by the way, Kenneth, you haven't won the Cup since 08. You know, that that's a distant memory. Now, challenging for a Cup, what's the last time they made a conference final? Was it 2010? Double check for me. Not so young anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're, they you're haven't. Two thousand nine. They haven't been relevant, and the talent's getting worse. The signings have been bad. I just I, you're you know, reveling. Uh, thank you, Jeff. That's up to the people. I'll leave it to you. I, I think it's time for a change. It's clear that's not going to happen. It's clear the organization is just happy as hell. They will sit there, stay the course. Kenny sold the right people. Stay the course. It's all good. We got our new playpen opening up. We'll be all right. And I and I don't, and in the meantime, you'll pay the bill. Yeah, and I don't want to insult your sport because I know you love it. But this is not college football, where you're devoted to uh, a color, a school, and people would just show up for any damn thing. You yeah. have to understand the Red Wings once upon a time had to give away cars. It, you know. They had empty seats. Terry's and dead this, wing memories. Right. If this team becomes irrelevant, and even though this is hockey town and everybody's in, they'll abandon that team at some point. Well, and point. understand, irrelevant doesn't mean you're you're the Edmonton Oilers. Irrelevant can mean you're just mediocre. I mean, Ken may think that less can be more exciting in his world. Mm-hmm. When you're mediocre, here's what happens. People like me stop bothering going to your games. I'm not a hardcore guy. You don't need to really worry about your hardcore people. But the fringe people are the ones that you want to be excited about your sport and excited about your franchise. I used to go to six to eight games a year. It was fun. It was a great product. But now when I'm offered tickets, I'm being honest. I say no. That's not like Siren City or anything. I'm just being honest. A friend will call me up. Mike, you want to come to the game with us Monday night? Nah, I'm good. Why? Because they're boring. They're not fun. Red Wings, my Red Wings. Won't take the tickets even if they're free. Red Wings, my Red Wings. I got a million things I'd rather see. Red Wings, my Red Wings. Expect less, you stupid idiot. Red Wings, my Red Wings. Hey, come on, pay more. All right. That was beautiful. Sorry, that was a B-side. I just hate when teams think we're stupid. Tell people to expect less and less can be fun. What are we, some stupid kid at the orphanage and the kid gets handed like like a candy bar and they're told, well, don't worry about Susie, you got a bike, you got a candy bar. And that candy bar is way more exciting because it's less. What? what? It's ba- it doesn't even make sense. That's what? baffling no, how it can be more exciting. Is. But they do that. Didn't was it the Lions or the Pistons that tried to sell us on we're gonna be lean and mean? Yeah. In Less. other words, we're not gonna spend money and we're gonna suck. I'll throw them on the try hard. I, I think these comments are pretty brutal, to be honest with you, from a guy that's in the crosshairs of a lot of people. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Come on, hockey town. Red wings. Red wings. Woo! Red wings. You'll pay more, we'll give you less. And you'll get ripped by Mike Moore. This team's average, but these lights are bright. Mike would be salt and he's going to have a big rant. M1 Rail, let's fly. (laughs) Okay, we're done. Please, everybody, let's all just calm down. Relax. (laughs) 